8th of February edition of NXT 2.0 and the way we review wrestling on this channel it always seems to fall to Stevie to review NXT because he's always half a Wednesday NXT Tuesday night which means I'm dealt a very shit hand but we kick off the show contract signing for the world title we've got Braun Breaker against the guy no idea it seems like a pine land rip off of Andrade to be honest Basically, Braun Breaker, Braun Breaker was good here. You can hear his inner Scott Steiner, or Rick Steiner. Steiner brothers, but Scott's obviously better. Um, says, let's flip the table and get straight down to fighting, because that's how these things normally end. So I like that. Out comes Dolph Ziggler, and I'm thinking, what? This guy has been the same character for about eight years. And it's not like before that he was fucking any good. Shawn Michaels and Billy Gunn and Mr. Perfect Ripoff. You know what I mean? He literally stole... Shawn Michaels and Billy Gunn's moveset and then he looks like Mr. Perfect like I'm not he can't really do much about his look but fuck me Michael McGillicott he's pissed they could have pushed Dolph Ziggler's perfect son but I guess that could probably be a bit look a bit it's disrespectful but god damn it Michael McGillicott he's shit out comes Champa. him and Ziggler brawl to the back and then um, we get the two in the ring is this going to lead to a Champa Sigler match? I'm assuming so. Is Sigler now on NXT? Don't know. Don't really care. To be perfectly honest, we also had the two semi finals of the MSK. Um, MSK of the MSK. The, the, the Dusty Rhodes Classic. A MSK win. Um, so they're in to the final. Um, then we have the Creed Brothers versus G. By why and the other dusty classic sound and it's like why did why the day in this shit every year you know what i mean like what, what it, it's just fucking turd it's like the ones with a giant battle royal and if it happened every once in a while it might be fucking all right you know what i mean but the creed brothers um get the job done and are we supposed to care probably but I don't. No chance of me caring. Um, Pete Dunne and Big Draco Anthony. Have a match. He buries him. And then like. He basically says he wants a weaponized steel cage match against that Tony D'Angelo. But the, like, the wording of the clip sounds like he's having it with fucking. Well it doesn't really. He ups the stakes following match with Draco Anthony. But what's the word title's that? Why not? have fucking Pete Dunne wants Tony D'Angelo in a weaponized steel cage match or something you know what I mean LA Knight takes on Sanga the big massive dude um and <laughs> did I give a fuck about this match no I did not but to my surprise in this match LA Knight actually picks up the win which surprised me um and then after, oh, the restraining orders go on, they're attacking each other, even though they've been doing this for weeks, and the restraining orders kind of pointless at this fucking stage, which they can't even allude it to on commentary. Um, with a bunch of backstage segment with Valentine's Day, people being asked to shit like this, uh, with Toxic Attraction attempting to divide Indy Hartwell and Persea Parota. Um, it's Santo Escobar, who's the guy challenging Braun Baker. I mean, with a bunch of jobber women's matches. Wendy Chu versus Tiffany Stratton. Like, am I supposed to give a fuck? I mean, Tiffany Stratton breaks her nail during the match and then just spends the whole match screaming. People could argue fucking heel heat, but who gives a fuck? Then we have Sari versus Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai wins. Um, then we have a promo for this woman. Nikita Le Leons talks about she's going to bring her MMA skills to NXT 2.0. She's like, I used to do concerts, man, and people, they thought I was a woman. Or a, a weak little woman, but I showed them. It's like, who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? We also have Cameron, Cam, Cameron, Cameron Grimes talking about he will shoot for the stars in NXT, the North American title. It's such a weird title name, North American. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, it's weird. And then we have for the NXT Women's Championship, Mandy Rose versus Kylie Ree Ray. I mean, Toxic Trash won't be supposed to be in this match, but they were. Mandy Rose wins. Out comes some jobber called Lou Cherie to help Kylie Ray. 
Um, and that's basically how the show goes up. I don't know if I, when how the show went off there, but I'm assuming this match was main event title match. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, Mandy Rose's best work. Stevie couldn't give a fuck, guys. But anyway, till next time, terms of this rating, show out of 10. Um, I think I thought I won. It was pretty fucking shite.